Remember, stick with Trigger and you'll make it.
been awake. Oh, precisely. Back As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have Finally, bolstered the enemy's the anti air network. This will be difficult to overcome. Present of the Ocean Federation. However, we My still favorite. need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Lucia's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erosion forces. Ah, oh, great. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We will send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However, a reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. So we can elude the enemy's observation. There are a lot of rain clouds this time of year. Saving the president? Flying That's through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden from their radar. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot who will head up the ah. strategy is you, Trigger. After we're going you bust through, here. secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others <laughs> will arrive shortly for support. My Tom Captain repair. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after running. Good luck out there. Good luck out there. Doesn't look too bad. Well, honestly. Doesn't in case we have one of those pesky drones out of pain fighting them. Moving in. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Operation area, imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck.
I'm one of them. You're three-fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he <laughs> remained a humble hero. Finally, someone on my camp. My favorite too, Skykeeper. Oh. Great. Ground attack time. Celebrate yet. Real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Captain Bat. Base 2, Fox 2. Locked on. Engaging ground targets. Ugh. Go away. Ugh. Damn, it's taking fire. Come on! Go away! Damn missile! Firing! Target destroyed. Where? Where the hell you been? That's been a while. Fuck! Firing. Two more. Come on. Eliminate the enemy before Half of the Sam sites are down. Well, I know them, you know. So how he got doing with Dark of the Civic War. All Sam sites down. Now what? All anti-air. Hey, I almost forgot. Ain't this cute six? 24 years after the seven nukes. Remember that guy? Guy? Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. Their container launched UAVs. Rescue craft tag on. Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. <sighs> it's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the Roger that. We are moving to engage all enemy fires and ground targets. Situation's going smoothly. Shit, shit. Come on. Ah! Firing. And what? Fuck! Go away. Here I am, launch. <laughs> Thank you, Sidewinder. Where? I don't see anything. Oh, oh no. Who's this guy? Give me an interesting target. Yeah, I hope they do well. There must have been any troops on the elevator. Just go away. Boom! Flash one eagle. Ah, oh, Sea Goblin, all survivors, respond. This isn't looking good. It's all away. Target down. Throw it back. Lock it. Damn. How firepower are they having? That's about half. Bump up the rest. Firing. Engaging. 
Shiva, Shikabin, Mr. Kohon. Ah, Shiva. I got the Shiva technology after all. Of course. Wait. What's leaving off the what? On engine? Yeah, got a couple more left. No, oh, three. Well, the disease run. Coming back to you like nine years ago. Pirate. All lost, destroyed. All UAVs have been splashed. All aircraft. Former President Harling's transport is ready to take off. Mother Goose One, take off. Wait till we're home safe. Page one and two up now. Chicken zero. Damn. Half the hole. Get lost on me. Not still. Take them all. Roger that. Come on, come on. 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 Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, shit! Hey, son, he's used the fire jet, not transport. Oh, Liberty! Why come all the way here? They have more powerful justice for false lasers. Engaging. About two ground. Must have been the spaceship that went into space seven years ago. Getting a little tired. What? Battle? Down the 
Honestly, I don't recall Arlen having buying experience, even with a few. Yeah, thank you, where they're going, please. I'm not gonna make them left, we just both of them. And... Whoa, whoa. Honey, a little bit tight. Firing. The height or dungeon for life or survival. Please, my sweetie. I'm fucking fucked. I will most probably be a court martial. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, we must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job, and one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. 
The guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this. Talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. The president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa. And why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks.